execution of the motor act is a complex phenomenon and uh, the area responsible for the the motor action in the brain is the precentral sulcus area number 4 and area number 6 and supplementary areas and uh, areas of the sensory cortex 60% from the area number 4, 6 and 40% of the fibers from the sensory areas descends down there as a cardiospinal tract uh, we already discussed in the previous video and the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex is area number 9 and 46 is the main area for the initiation of the planning or planning of the motor action from where the fibers goes down to the basal ganglia basal ganglia is the collective nuclei of the subcortical structure involving in the planning and programming of the motor action and also cerebellum uh, the lateral lobe and intermittent lobe of the cerebellum also participate in the the motor modulation or smooth coordination plan and execution of the motor act so in this illustration the connection shown from the various directions from the various areas and the main part of the main function of the basal ganglia in order to receive the copy of the motor information from the the planning area number 9 and 46 and sends back to the motor cortex whereas the lateral cerebellum also receives some copy of the information from the uh, the motor cortex as well as from the planning area 9 and 46 and sending the information back to the motor cortex and uh, the our intermittent lobe of the cerebellum also receives some information from the motor cortex and sends back some information to the same motor cortex and however the main function of the cerebellum is in order to receive the information from the proprioception from the body as well as receives the copy from the planning area and motor cortex and matches what is the extent of or uh, motor act is required for the muscles so that is how it plans and execute the smooth coordination of the motor function and sends the final copy to the motor cortex